This is the Transformers Generations Legacy Deluxe Class Crankcase. We are doing an unboxing review of this figure. I picked up this figure from Hobby Corner uh, for about $31. Eh, it's all right. Uh, the prices have gone up and yeah, what can you do, right? Let's hope quality has not diminished with the price increase. And, uh, okay, here we go. We got a we got some instruction sheet and a warranty. Nice box art. Now, Crankcase is from the G1 continuity. He was a Decepticon trigger con. He had a gimmick. You'd push a button and then it would trigger the weapons to come out. But in this case, I think I can see the weapons. They're not trigger activated, which is a shame. But, uh... Nonetheless, uh, we get a very, very cool looking uh, Generations figure, uh, Generations version uh, figure of Crankcase. And I'm actually very pleased with the way it looks. So here's a good look at the figure. Uh, pretty neat. I believe he's a heavy retool of Legacy Skids. If you already have the Skids figure, this uh, Crankcase figure will look very similar. The feet, the arms. It probably just changed uh, bits and pieces of the alt mode and the chest, new head sculpt, but it's essentially this relatively the same engineering as Legacy Skids. Uh, there's some looseness uh, with the figure, which is a shame. Uh, he's got a ball jointed neck, you got a waist swivel, you got a hinge rotating uh, shoulder right here, you got bicep swivel, hinge elbow, swivel wrist. Feet can go in and out, forward and backward. You got a thigh swivel, hinge knees, and rocker tilt. So all of the proper articulation for a Generations figure is here. I love the aesthetic of this robot mode. A little bit of a kibble going on here, but that's fine. And here are those trigger con weapons. Uh, I don't know how these things work because what does the instructions say? The instructions don't say much about it uh they just yeah they don't, they don't they don't say anything about those weapons it's just uh i guess it's just decorative yeah oh he has weapons as well where did they where did they go okay here we go ah don't throw away the packaging you just might miss uh these uh <laughs> These weapons or accessories that are packed in this really premium uh, tissue. So, okay. Okay, so he comes with his beatbox, I guess. What is this? His blaster. Okay, let me put it here. So, kind of looks like a beatbox, but it is his blaster. And it forms the front grill of the alt mode. And he's got a blaster blaster pistol that's made of clear smoked plastic pretty cool it's a shame that he's a little loose at least the copy that i got is is somewhat loose and it, it's a little annoying just to have him very fiddly but but it's okay 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 so let's get him into his alt mode okay so let's see if i if we can do this properly okay so fold up the chest, fold the head down like this. And then these weapons they should come down like this. And then you move the hips up like this. Okay. And then fold up these flaps, fold up the wheels, fold the feet like this. Okay. Oh, the arms. You gotta do the arms first. Okay. And then they're going to tab onto the torso. Okay, tab into the torso like that. Okay, and then the feet. We go like this. Tab. Okay. Okay. All right. All that's left is to close the doors. Like this. There you go. He's a, he's a cool little minivan. Or is he a Scion? He looks like a Scion. Oh, I forget about the boom box that turns into his grill. And then the weapon 
Man, even the weapon is loose. But I do like the way the alt mode looks. I love the high gloss black finish on him. I wish they could have done the same treatment all around, including the legs and the torso. That would have been really, really cool. He looks so, so nice in this alt mode. I think a lot better than Skids. Uh, but I mean, you know, it's a shame. I wish they, they could have blended that high gloss paint, but just glad we get this kind of treatment. It looks so premium. And then to transform him back, to just keep the process in reverse. Okay, and then untab, fold up, fold up, fold, fold. Okay, fold out the arms. Okay, fold the chest. And raise up the trigger con weapons. And this goes out, and there you go. There is Crankcase back in robot mode. Okay, so I have here some blast effects uh, from various previous Transformers. And, you know, you can look at these. If you look at these uh, blasters right here, it's a shame that they couldn't make a peg that was small enough to fit some blast effects. I mean, that would have been really nice. I honestly don't understand why they couldn't have done that. That would have made, that would have put some added value uh, to this uh, product, this robot mode, had they made uh, smaller three millimeter ports right there that could fit something like this, like, and then this one, I guess this one can fit some of the blast effect. And then, or this one. So, I mean, that that's pretty cool. I mean, that, that would have been really nice, but there's really no way to attach anything, any of these blast effects onto these cannons, which is really a shame because the trigger cons, these were their gimmicks and they were doing an homage to that character. And that would have been, that would have just upped the level of, of this figure. And I, you know, it's a shame. It's a shame that they missed that opportunity. And so some final thoughts on this Transformers Generations Legacy Deluxe Class Crankcase. The figure is okay. I thought it was a very good redeco of the original Skids mold. The paint apps look fantastic. It's just a shame that there's a little bit of mold degradation. I don't think it's consistency this time. I think it's it's really that the mold has degraded a bit and they weren't able to protect that mold. It's a shame because you can see I'm struggling with the posing because the joints are just way too loose on my copy. But all in all, I honestly think this is a good figure. Uh, if you skipped out on Skids, you might want to check out this figure. This figure is going to get a 9 out of 10 for me. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Transformers Generations Legacy crankcase. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.